As for Verlander, looking at how close, and you know, this gets us talking here. He's won a World Series, a Hall of Fame. When you look at active leaders with wins, Bartolo Colon up there, of course, he's been pitching for centuries, and then Sabathia <laughs> right now on the injured list at 244. So what is the, that 200 number today as things shift with the amount of innings, the amount of starts for pitchers? Does that mean Hall of Fame to you? I think he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but his resume is not complete yet. You know, 200 wins is now looked upon a little different because guys don't pitch for 20 years, 22 years anymore to get 300 wins. So for me, he's right on, on, on target. He's on pace. He has to continue to do what, he, what he's doing for the next two years in Houston. He, he continues to be a dominant ace. He's been an ace his whole career. He has 2,700 innings pitch, 2,600 strikeouts. If he gets to 3,000 strikeouts with the 200 wins, I mean, I'm not in the Hall of Fame, but I don't know how you keep <laughs> him out of that. He's got a world championship, an MVP to his resume. He's deserving of being one of the best because he's one of the best in my generation as far as being the pure power, right-handed arm, and he's been dominating for a long time. But you got to finish. Yeah. You got to finish. Yeah, and he'll get a chance. His next start Sunday against the Oakland A's. Boy, that'd be magical as tight as that division is if he can get his 200th. Then let's get an update on that game. Top of the ninth, and it's Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. What's the Dodgers' best option with the trade deadline come and gone to find a closer? They're in trouble. It's a lot of prayer because, you know, Kelly Jansen was the one. Dodger that was irreplaceable as you can see so you know like I said and I told you guys in the meeting getting those final three outs in the ninth is totally different than mm -hmm. any other inning and everyone has struggled maybe get Maeda up down Maeda. there he has nine career outings including the postseason has only given up one one run he has the velocity and the swing and miss stuff to be able to get through the lineup in the, in, in, in the ninth but that's the only remedy I see right now moving forward for the Dodgers but they have to answer now before they fall out of the division it's kind of scary. You don't want to get a guy throwing a hard issue pitch. Yeah, yeah, you can't mess um, around, right? The I bottom mean. line is I think they still need to try to make a small trade. I think Addison Reed is one target because he's with the Twins. I think that's a guy you go after. He's had a lot of experience late innings. He was a closer for a long time, but he's, he's probably still available. That's the only guy I see out there. Even Bearclaw in, in Miami, but is anybody of those guys going to clear waivers? So they're in a tough position. They're going to have to fix this in-house, and I really think Maeda is the guy next man up that they can try to see to stop the bleeding. Yeah, I mean, the Dodgers, the acquisitions of Machado and Dozier, but they never really addressed the, the bullpen, and it was an area that was a strength for them through the course of last season when they got to the World Series. It may uh, it may cost him here. And it's interesting, the most blown saves in all of baseball, all three of those bullpens are in the National League West. Giants, Rockies, Dodgers, 